the United States have produced tanks since their inception in World War I up until the present day. Many older U.S. tanks have been produced in wide numbers and have been exported to many countries around the world. These tanks have been used in many conflicts around the world and of course have proved combat effectiveness, which is why they faced many wars. Today, the buzz will list out the top 8 U.S. tanks that have seen the most combat in history. At number 8 is the M41 Walker Bulldog. The United States exported this light tank in large quantities, especially to Asia, and it became the first post-war tank to find widespread use. Although it was not used in action by the U.S. military, it did engage T-34s at the Bay of Pigs and was employed for almost nine and a half years by South Vietnam, where it did engage PT-76 and T-54 North Vietnamese tanks. In addition to these conflicts, it was also used in the Lebanese Civil War, the Guatemalan Civil War, the Somali Civil War, and the 2006 coup d'etat in Thailand. At number 7, we have the third-generation American main battle tank, the well-known M1 Abrams, which entered service in 1980. The export version of this US MBT is served by the armies of Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Australia, and Iraq. As the Abrams entered service, they participated in different Cold War exercises, and they were typically held in Western Europe, particularly West Germany, together with the M60A3 and other NATO tanks. The exercises were aimed at countering Soviet forces. It saw battle for the first time in the Persian Gulf War and has since been employed by the Saudi Arabian Army in the Yemeni Civil War as well as in the wars in Afghanistan, Iraq and against ISIL. It also saw combat during 2003 and deposed the Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein in an invasion that lasted just 43 days. Number 6. The M24 Chaffee this light tank started to enter widespread use in December 1944. These saw action mainly in northwestern Europe and the North German Plain, where British forces saw action against German troops. It was also used in post-World War II conflicts such as the Korean War. In this war, M24s were the initial U.S. tanks directed to combat heavier and larger North Korean T-34-85 supplied by the Soviets. It was also used by the French in the war in Algeria and the First Indochina War. It was supplied to many armies around the globe and was used in local conflicts. Number 5 on the list for the top 8 U.S. tanks that has seen the most combat in history is the M47 Patton. The M47 was widely used by the U.S. Cold War allies, both Southeast Asia Treaty Organization and NATO countries, and was the only Patton series tank that never saw combat while in U.S. service. It was seen deployed by France against Egypt during the Suez Canal Crisis in 1956. It was fielded by Pakistan against India in 1965 and 1971 war. It was used by the Jordan against Israel in Six-Day War in 1967. It was used by Turkish army in the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 1974. It was used in the Ogaden War, Iran-Iraq War, Croatian War of Independence and Somaliland War of Independence. Up next at number 4 is the M48 Patton. The M48 Patton series saw widespread service with the United States and NATO. The U.S. military used it extensively during the Vietnam War. The U.S. military would deploy almost 600 Pattons during the conflict, and the M4 Sherman tanks were used in both the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 as well as the following war in 1971. M48s were also used with mixed results during the Six-Day War of 1967. Iranian M48 tanks were used widely in the Iran-Iraq War from 1980 to 1988, where they faced Iraqi T55s, T62s and T72s alongside M60 patterns. The tanks were also used in the Western Sahara Desert against Polisario guerrillas. The third U.S. tank that has seen most combat in history is the M3 Stewart. This American light tank were first used in combat in the North African campaign. About 170 were used by the British forces in Operation Crusader in 1941. 
Stuart tanks were the first American manned tanks to engage the enemy in tank-to-tank -tank combat during World War II when they were utilized in the Philippines in December 1941 to fight the Japanese. In the later stages of World War II, the M3 was employed for screening and reconnaissance operations outside of the Pacific War. It was also used in Chinese Civil War, Indo-Pak War of 1947-1948, Korean War, 1959 Cuban Revolution, football war in many conflicts around the world. The most commonly used American tank in World War II, the M4 Sherman, stands at number 2. The Sherman first saw combat at the Second Battle of El Alamein in October 1942 with the British 8th Army. The Sherman spearheaded many offensives by the Western Allies after 1942. After World War II, the Sherman, especially the numerous upgraded and improved versions, saw combat action in a number of conflicts around the globe, including those involving the UN forces in the Korean War, Israel in the Arab-Israeli Wars, South Vietnam for a brief period in the Vietnam War, and both sides in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. With 49,324 manufactured, it was the most produced tank in American history. At number one spot is the M60. This main battle tank reached operational capability upon fielding to U.S. Army European units beginning in December 1960. The M60 made its combat debut when Israel employed it in the 1973 Yom Kippur War under the codename Magich 6, succeeding admirably in the battle against T-62 and other equivalent tanks. The M60 was used by the Israelis in the 1982 Lebanon War once more, this time with improvements such as explosive reactor armor to protect against guided missiles, which were particularly efficient at destroying tanks. The M60 also saw use in 1983 during Operation Urgent Fury, supporting U.S. Marines in an amphibious assault in Grenada. M60's delivery to Iran also served in the Iran-Iraq War. The United States' largest deployment of M60s was in the 1991 Gulf War, where the U.S. Marines equipped with M60A1s effectively defeated Iraqi armored forces, including T-72 tanks. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.